Welcome to our lecture online. To illustrate the three types of situation we can have when we talk about the discriminant, we have these three examples. So let's find out for which of these three examples do we have two real solutions, one real solution, or no real solutions. In other words, two imaginary solutions. So what we need to do is plug the coefficients a, b, and c for each of the three equations into the quadratic formula and see what b squared minus 4ac is equal to. So in this case, we can say that x is equal to minus b, so that's the negative of this coefficient, which is a 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 1 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is a minus 6, all divided by 2a. So let's go ahead and work out what's inside the radical. So we'll call that d. So in this case, d is equal to negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus times a minus, which is plus. 4 times 2 is 8, times 6 is 48. So that's equal to 49. In other words, it's a positive number. So therefore, we conclude that this equation will have two real solutions. All right, let's go to our second equation. Again, we plug that into the quadratic formula. x is equal to minus b, which is a positive 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 4 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is 1. And the whole thing divided by 2a, which is 2 times 4. So again, we're only interested in what's inside the radical. So we call that the discriminant, and that's equal to minus 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times 4, which is 16, which is equal to 0. Well, that means that if the discriminant equals 0, there's only one real solution. All right, next we have our third equation, and let's plug that into our quadratic formula. So x is equal to negative b, which is a positive 2, because negative times negative, plus or minus the square root of a negative 2 squared, minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. Again, we only care about what's inside the radical sign, so the discriminant is equal to negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times 3, which is 12, which is a negative 8. That's a negative number, less than 0, which means there are no real solutions. And of course, that means there are two imaginary solutions. And that is how we can use the discriminant and what it stands for to predict what kind of results we're going to get when we solve quadratic equations. We can very quickly see if there's two real solutions, only one real solution, or no real solutions. And that is how it's done.